News Channel 5 Sports. And again, Thursday night, everyone. Four soccer matches tonight with possible playoff seating on the line. Let's not waste time because this one right here, it surely does matter. Central girls, we're at Laramie. Lady Plainsman on the board early in this one. Watch the nice crossover to Savannah Cox with the put in. It makes it one nothing Laramie. It's her first goal of the night. Would not be her last. Central just couldn't finish on the offensive end tonight. As we said, Cox wasn't done scoring. Look at that. Second goal coming up right there, leading Laramie. Two, right, actually right there is Cox. Two nothing over Central. Playing with confidence, playing as a team. We've tried to been working on, let's work on these three things offensively, these couple things defensively. But at the end of this little stretch, it's more about how can we come together as a team? How can we fight together as a team? Do we have the passion? Do we want it that bad? And they showed us that today. Defending 4A state champ East was hosting South over at Oki Blanchard. First half, just over 11 minutes in, it's Abby Morion, and she's going to angle her shot right on in the corner. Well played there by the junior. Puts East up 1 0. Later in the first, off the corner kick, Katie Logan shot just a smidge off right there, but Isabel Lowry picks up that smidge. Makes it 2 0 Lady T Birds at the break, and East would go on for a 3 0 victory. There will be the two seed in next week's regional. Now, these two schools battling at South on the boys' side. Honestly, folks, if I sat like that at my age, I'd probably throw my hip out of whack. one nothing at the break. Late in the second, Mohammed Hassan got a head for control, fires it. Darn near full me right there. Also full south. That gets in, makes it 2 nothing east. Bison, though, not giving up. It's going to be Adam Habercorn over to Bryce Coder. A great chance. Oof. Eventually, though, snuffed out by Dalton Haas. East scoring its second win this week to close out the season. A 2 nothing defeat. Of South. Finally, Central Boys in the nightcap at Laramie. And the Plainsman picking right up where the ladies had left off. One of the few missed opportunities right there for the Plainsman. And watch right here. The header, boom, oh, right off of Blake Moore there. Plainsman keeper Colton Rapp going to show some nice work here, denying Central's corner shot. He'd allow only one all night. Laramie going on to take a 3 nothing, 3 to 1 victory. Over Central and closing the regular season with a victory ahead of next week's regional. Quickly at a few sports notes tonight. Larry Nance Jr. taking part in the first day of the NBA Combine. Former Wyoming Cowboys star, three for six of eight points. He also pulled down eight rebounds. Another future pro athlete, Brandon Nimmo, in action today. Former post six star going just one for five for the class at Double A Binghamton Mets. The 4 3 loss to New Hampshire. Back here in Cheyenne, L Trip C volleyball player Kanani Alway. Will continue her volleyball career. They should sign a national letter of intent to move on to Shawnee State University in Ohio. Well, you can add the words national champion to Torrington High School today. School taking part in Fitness for Life, a nationwide competition sponsored by Max Preps and the Army National Guard. Now, the program challenges student athletes to complete a variety of exercises, all be done in a certain amount of time, but also with the goal of encouraging lifelong health and fitness. Out of all the schools in the nation involved, Torrington coming out on top, getting some nice hardware as well, too. However, they had to rally a bit to get this title. If I see somebody ahead of me, I'm always going to strive to get in front of them. Um, so knowing that we were behind at one point really helped me push forward and um, just try harder and be faster. And because I don't, I don't like to be second. I mean, <laughs> I want to be first and. Uh, once we were at that, it felt really good.